Welcome back guys, JDog here at Seekerhost and we're back again with another video. This time we're going to be going over Google Analytics and how you can use our free service to check out all of your analytics from your Seekerhost portal. So before we get into how to actually do this, let's talk about some of the points and why this would be beneficial for you. And as you can see up on screen now, um, you can easily just check out all of your analytics all from your dashboard. Now this includes Clicky as well, which we'll do in a separate video. So you can have all of your Clicky and Google Analytics straight from your dashboard. You don't have to log in anywhere else. Um, and you can have tracking sites for all of your money sites too, and also your PBNs. This means that you can keep a great eye on everything all in one place, and you can check it out before you even log on to your site. It also means less internet tabs because you've got everything in one place, and it gives you a great analysis of all of your Google Analytics, which of course we all know is a great way to actually improve your site because you can check out what's doing better, what's doing worse, how you can improve it. So with that, let's get into the video and let's actually see how you're able to connect your Google Analytics to your Seekerhost portal. So let's get into adding Google Analytics to our portal. Now, like previously mentioned, this is to add all your analytics all in one easy place. And to access this, you're gonna come over to tracking sites from your Seekerhost dashboard. Here, what you can do is you can add your tracking sites. So if you come to the top right, you're gonna see add new tracking site. So click that, and basically we're gonna add in the URL of the site that we want to add. This is gonna be without the www. So just jdogofficial.com will do for this. So let's go ahead and add site here. Once your site has been added successfully, you can come on over to the action button over here to actually add the analytics as you can see on this page we've got the site info analytics google clicky and the settings so let's go ahead and add google analytics first so on this page what we're going to need is we're going to need our google email account and also our google view id now one thing here is that you might not have the corresponding email. For instance, your details, you might have used an email that you haven't used for your Google Analytics and it's not showing up on this list. If that is the case, then you're just gonna to go to click here on the page, obviously click there, um, and this is how you're gonna be able to authenticate that. So go to new Google Authenticate. From here, go ahead and choose an email. If you do get this pop up, don't worry, it is safe. Um, we're actually currently in the process of just getting this approved with Google. So you might not see this page by the time you come to do it, but if you do, just click advanced and then go to seekerhost.apps. Uh, Although it says it's unsafe, it is safe. It's just a way for us to be able to get the data um, from your account over into the portal so you can see it again. Once you click that, just simply click see download uh, and your Google Analytic data and then you can continue. Once you've done all that and saved it, you're gonna see that you're gonna get this on your list now. So just go ahead and choose your Google email account that your analytics is on. And then next up, we're gonna head over to Google Analytics. Now, of course, just to get it, just Google, Google Analytics, and it'll come up pretty fast. Make sure that you are on the right email with the right properties, so make sure that the profile that you're logged into at the moment also has that website on its property. So for this one, I've got JDog Official using this particular email and account. And you're gonna come straight down to admin. From admin, on the top right, or almost top right you're going to see view settings and then you're going to get your view id on the top obviously i'll have mine blurred out however just copy this view id you can now head back over to your seekerhost portal um, put the view id in with the corresponding google email account and then we're going to press save just to save it and activate it so with that all done, we can now click back on our Google and what we'll see now is that we actually have our analytics live on the page. As you can see as well, it's pretty instant. We got all of our information and details for the analytics. So we can actually log on here and check out what's been going on on the site before we even get on the site. To access your tracking accounts and see all your analytics just simply from the dashboard, you can just come back to tracking sites and just select the tracking site that you want hit action, and then you can come check the Google Analytics. If you want to add Clicky, we have another video on how to do that. It really doesn't take very long and doesn't involve too much either. And you'll be able to get your analytics on your Seekerhost portal. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on the next video. Bye-bye.